Hello, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and this is, I think, the best Beach Boys concert poster ever made. Very early in their 50-year career, but I think, hands down, it is simply the most exciting, the best Beach Boys concert poster of them all, from Sacramento in late 1963. Just a gorgeous poster. It's large. Look at it, it's, um, 20, you know, it's about 22 by 28, maybe a little bit narrower, on cardboard made by Colby Poster Printing Company out of Los Angeles, which is understandable because, of course, Sacramento, <clears throat> the state's capital to the north. And this thing just has it all. It's got a photo of the Beach Boys on there. It's got all these great song titles from earlier in their career. It's got um, detailed ticket information down below and pricing on the tickets. It's got the big size. It's got gorgeous color with the green and the blue printing on it. It's got a description of the artist underneath their name, which I often think is a plus. Um, it's got some neat offbeat contest wording down at the bottom, and it's autographed to boot. Now, of course, your copy may not be autographed, so that's just sort of an added value thing, but this is just, I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful Beach Boys concert poster. And uh, we might as well show the boys. Well, I'll show the poster first from top to bottom. There you have it, as best as I could fit in the viewfinder, of course. And then as far as the band themselves, top to bottom, of course, you know them. There we have Brian Wilson. 16-year-old Carl Wilson, wow, 16, Dennis Wilson, 15-year-old David Marks, who had just been fired from the band, and, of course, lead singer Mike Love, all of 22 years old, down at the bottom. And, uh, as I said, if you've seen my blogs before, you know that um, song titles can really, I won't say make or break a poster, but they sure can make a poster to have hit song titles on there and things like that. And uh, this Beach Boys concert does it to the absolute nth degree, just gorgeously. Look at these songs here. Actually, I'm going to start on this side because Surfin' on Candix, of course, is their first single, and there you have it. And then 409 Surfin' Safari is their first capital single. And then Surfin' USA, BAM, number one record. And you switch to the other side, and you have Surfer Girl, Shutdown, and Little Deuce Coop. It's just an awesome, awesome song selection going on here um, because basically it has all the A's and B-sides that the Beach Boys had charted up to this time on Billboard Singles Chart, with only one exception. And the exception is a throwaway. It's a who cares. They did just the right thing by leaving out Ten Little Indians. I mean, you know, no offense to whoever likes the song. It's catchy, but um, it's just no great shakes at all. And if you're not familiar with, with the early Beach Boys repertoire, yes, that was their cover of One Little, Two Little, Three Little Indians. So, you know... It just stiffed and just, you know, who cares? So just great song selection on this poster. Just the right songs. Beautiful job. And, of course, Surfin' was, um, as I said, their first single. And top top ten records were Surfin' USA and Surfer Girl. So, but if you know the Beach Boys, it doesn't even matter if they were hit singles. You know the repertoire pretty well. At the top of the poster, we want to be sure to point out Frederick Vale Productions there. Fred Vale is uh, still doing quite well, alive and kicking, and running a recording studio down in Nashville, Tennessee, Treasure Island. And Fred is um, very well liked and even loved in the Beach Boys community. And uh, this was his second uh, Beach Boys gig in the state capitol. He was based in Sacramento as a college student and disc jockey, and he put the Beach Boys on. And I wonder if he had a hand in selecting those song titles or in designing the poster. But uh, Anyway, hats off to Fred for sure for uh, having such a great poster to represent this concert. Interestingly now, I mentioned that this was signed, and it's got sort of a, an interesting story behind that. Uh, the top person there, as you know, is Brian Wilson, the musical mastermind behind the Beach Boys, but he had already started sitting out some concerts. And so Alan Jardine, or Al Jardine, was called in, and he played some shows with David Marks, who we ultimately replaced. And here you have Alan signing next to Brian Wilson's face because Brian wasn't there. And then from that point downwards you do have first name signatures which, uh, you know, I'm, I, I wish they were full names but that's okay. Carl followed by Dennis and then followed by David Marks who is a really obscure sort of weird signature. He might have put Love Marks there, I'm not sure. And then below him, almost as an answer to it, Mike Love signed his entire name. So. It's always nice. So, I mean, they're two different hobbies, right? Autograph collecting and concert poster collecting. And it's really great on the, the, the few rare occasions when you can combine the two hobbies and get an original autographed concert poster. And by the way, yes, those first name graphs, 
except for Mike Love, full name, were signed the night of the show. So that's really, you know, that's really special. When you, I mean, who wants a concert poster that was signed 20 or 30 years later? Maybe you do. Maybe you have one. And I, I just personally think that um, it's very, very special when it's, you know, it's signed on September 14th, 1963. It just all plays together very nicely. Now, so those are, you know, September 14th, 1963, Beach Boys Sigs, first names only. I thought I'd show you a fun thing I just picked up not long after getting this poster, coincidentally. Two weeks before this show, in Sacramento, down in Los Angeles, the Beach Boys played on a much larger bill, the Show of Stars Spectacular at the Los Angeles Sports Arena. And here's the program cover, and the Beach Boys were on the bill. And I got this from somebody who actually went to the show and got the Beach Boys backstage and got them to sign their space on the program. And those are first and last names by their faces, which is really spectacular. I'll even get in a little bit closer. Just lovely. David Marks couldn't sign right by his face because Dennis Wilson's signature is there, so David is in the margin. And they're just, you know, so it's kind of nice to have this program with full autographs by the Beach Boys just two weeks before the concert poster. So the two sort of go hand in hand, so that's pretty nice. Now the bottom half of the poster, we've spent a lot of time on the top half. The bottom half is just really delicious on this thing. It's just wonderful after you get the, um, let me get this in here a little bit closer to the camera but not too wide. It's got a wide thing. Um, as I mentioned, under the Beach Boys, it does say um, the number one surfing group in the country. That's really fun to have a line like that. It's, you know, it's always fun when you'd find an old Beatles concert poster from England uh, before they were famous, and it would say, like, the North's Top Rock Combo or something. So, you know, if you have to be described, you know you haven't made it yet. And then underneath the date, that, that, uh, it gets the, the print gets a little fine, but it gets really fun and exciting. It's just really something else. I mean, two giant fun-filled shows, okay? But what's amazing is this matinee show. Look at this, 2.15 p.m., see that? Children's pre-teen and young teeners matinee, and the parent is admitted free with the child? Oh, my goodness, that's outrageous. I mean, that's like Justin Bieber or Miley Cyrus or something, a pre-teener's matinee. And if you happen to be 25 or 30 years old, well, let's see, how old would you have to be? I don't know, 35. If you bring your kid, uh, you get in for free to the most important rock band in American history, playing all their early great hits. It's just outrageous. That pricing just cracks me up. It's just really something else. So I guess a couple of parents could walk in with their kid for, what's the price on it? A dollar and a quarter grand total for the three of them and see the Beach Boys. And then of course you have the more conventional 8 p.m. evening performance below that. There it is. And there the tickets get outrageous. $1.75 in advance and $2 at the door. Well, And um, then it's got of course the usual ticket location um, where you can buy the tickets for the show. I'll sort of back it up here. And several of those. And then the nice radio station plug. It says meet your favorite K-Roy disc jockeys. That's always a nice special added attraction. And then the bottom line, maybe I better scan it just in case you can't quite read it, is really charming. Free pictures for all attending, 25 Beach Boy Capital albums given away free for each show. I kind of scroll too far there, but anyway, that's really neat. Back in the old days, they'd give away LPs at the concert. Of course, Prince gave away CDs at his concerts, and that's how he ran it up the charts, but that's a whole other generation and story. So. Um, anyway, that's just really, it's just full of fun wording, isn't it? I mean, all this stuff about contests and preteen matinees and the cheap ticket prices and the number one surfing group and what doesn't this, it doesn't have a 3D holographic picture, I guess. That's what it doesn't have. Um, hope you like it as much as I do. It's just really, uh, who knows how many they printed, 100, 200, who knows. But uh, I'd like to think more of these were saved than the average bear simply because it looks so good. It looks so great with this almost day glow green and then blue printing. It's just spectacular. So. Anyway, proper to do on the 50th anniversary of the Beach Boys touring and formation. A very good year to do this. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.